Hello everyone, it's Megan from Kenhub here, and welcome to our tutorial on the arteries of the large intestine. Before we look at the arteries that supply the large intestine, let's first familiarise ourselves with the structure and function of this organ. The large intestine extends from the distal end of the ilium to the anus, covering a length of almost one and a half metres in adults. Its role is to absorb salts and fluids from the gut contents, converting it into faeces. The large intestine consists of the vermiform appendix, the cecum, and the colon, which consists of the ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon, and the sigmoid colon. Distal to the colon are the final parts of the large intestine, the rectum, and the anal canal. Approximately the first half of the large intestine, which includes the vermiform appendix, the cecum, the ascending colon, and part of the transverse colon, is supplied by blood derived from this artery here. The superior mesenteric artery. The superior mesenteric artery is the second main branch of the abdominal aorta, arising about one centimetre below the origin of the celiac trunk, at the level of the intervertebral disc between the first and second lumbar vertebrae. The blood supply of the small intestine is also derived from this artery, through the numerous intestinal arteries that we can see stemming from its left hand side. This image here, which is an anterior view of the abdominal cavity, will feature throughout the tutorial. In this illustration, most of the small intestine has been removed, and the transverse colon has been reflected upwards. This has been done to give us a clearer view of the blood supply of the large intestine. The superior mesenteric artery has three main branches that are involved in the blood supply to the large intestine. These are the iliocolic artery, the right colic artery, and the middle colic artery. This artery branching off the right side of the superior mesenteric artery is the iliocolic artery. As the name suggests, this artery supplies both the ilium and the large intestine. The iliocolic artery has an ileal branch and a colic branch, the first of which we can see here. This is the ileal branch of the iliocolic artery, which supplies the ilium. Superior to the ileal branch is the colic branch of the iliocolic artery. The colic branch supplies the ascending colon, and so it's often called the ascending colic branch. The ileal and colic branches anastomose together via this connection here, which is known as an arcade. These arcades occur throughout most of the length of the large intestine, and are essential to the efficient blood supply of the large intestine, as they ensure that if one artery is blocked or damaged, another artery can compensate. If we zoom in to take a closer look at the arcade in the bottom left of this image, we can see a small green artery branching from it. This artery is known as the anterior cecal artery, and supplies the anterior part of the cecum. Inferior to the anterior cecal artery is the posterior cecal artery, that also branches off the arcade that we talked about before. The posterior cecal artery supplies the posterior aspect of the cecum. It also often gives rise to the appendicular artery, which supplies the vermiform appendix. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.